Hello, it is Tamika, a new me, 1109, and it is time for me to do my four month lap band um, post stop update. Okay, so I guess, you know, I should really just start with the numbers first. Um, and the highest weight, my highest weight while going through the bariatric program was 288 pounds. So I talk about that number a lot. Um, my day of surgery, I was 274 pounds. And today, four months later, I am 217 pounds. So that was a total of um, 71 pounds that I've lost since being at my highest. And when I just did the calculation and wrote that number down, it scared me. Because I'm like, 71 pounds. I still, um, and I was talking to my friend the other day about just how much I weigh now and this whole process and saying I almost feel scared and I don't know if scared is the right word but you know of course when I laid down on that gurney and was being wheeled into um, surgery I knew that it meant at that point I knew that it meant on the other side of me waking up to this I would be losing weight but um, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it a little bit more. Maybe my next video I'll try to elaborate on my thoughts. But it is weird. <laughs> Maybe that's another word I can use. Um, to see that I'm so close to Wonderland. I didn't necessarily expect that I would be this close four months post-op. Um, but in the end, it is a good thing. So, um, so since surgery, I've lost uh, 57 pounds. So four months, I've lost 57 pounds. Um, and my goal weight at this point, my surgeon didn't give me one. It was, you know, I was just sort of told, what do you want to weigh? Um, so my goal weight that I've picked for myself is 170 pounds for now. And I feel like I want to get to 170 pounds and then see what it feels like and see if I need to um, go any lower than that. Uh, so that was a, a total goal of 104 pounds that I had established for myself from um, the 288. So me being 57 pounds since surgery, uh, well no, let me back up. It was 104 pounds from, from my surgery weight. So 274 and I want to be um, 170. So it was 104 pounds that I wanted to lose as of the day that I had surgery. So I've lost 57 pounds. So that means I have 47 more pounds to go. So that means that I am more than halfway there. How crazy is that? Um, very crazy. <laughs> anyway, when I was thinking about what I wanted to do with this video, of course I put some pictures in the end of sort of the progression from surgery. I also put uh, like sort of a lost secret uh, clip of the day that I had surgery after. Um, I think I put a little bit of it in maybe my two month post op but I put a little bit more this time just so that you guys can see. And if you laugh it's okay because it's funny to me now but that day there was nothing funny. So, um, but then I thought what I wanted to do for this video is I want to talk about some non-scale victories. So talked about the pounds and all of that is great. But I really like the other things that are going on in my life as a result of um, just losing weight and this whole journey in general. So I've been keeping sort of um, some notes in my um, BlackBerry. And one of, one of the things that I have on there is um, I find that I'm able to reach further behind myself when I'm in the shower, when I'm like washing my back and stuff. And that's weird because I'm like, my hand actually reaches like all the way on the other side so that's one um, two is feeling like the toilet seat is harder I had a little bit more cushion before and so now I'm like this thing is hard um, so that's number two number three is crossing my legs in the passenger seat I did it sort of without even thinking yesterday we went out and I just sort of crossed my legs and I was like I'm sitting here with my legs crossed um, Without me saying, oh, let me pull my other leg over. <laughs> uh, the next thing is uh, weighing less than all the guys in my life. How cool is that? 
months. You know, I told you guys about um, the whole thing um, when I finally weighed less than my son and how, you know, it was sort of like a woo-woo mo mo moment for me. So I officially weigh less than all the guys in my life, and that's really, really cool. Um, ordering a size 14 shorts from Lane Bryant, and they're like short jean denim shorts. Um for summer vacation and not even thinking like when I order these they're not going to fit like I thought yeah they're gonna fit like that's totally possible so that's something uh, next thing is not wor not worrying about whether or not my belly will be on a table when I sit in a booth so in a restaurant I'm not worrying like oh my gosh is this booth gonna be so tight i was never at the point where i was like i don't want to sit at the booth i want to sit at a table because i'm too big for the booth i still wanted to squeeze my butt in the booth um but now you know i have room and don't have to worry about that anymore um the next thing is having my 10 year old wrap her arms around me and say mom she was so excited she's like mommy my arms fit all the way around you and I have some room sort of to overlap that was really really cool uh, and I think the last thing that I have on here is not feeling like my life is consumed with food like you know I, I no longer I'm trying to figure out um, okay I'm having a bad day what am I gonna eat how am I going to self medicate myself with something or, you know, the opposite, something terrific is happening in my life. How do I go out and celebrate with food? That is no longer an issue for me, and I'm so thankful. I am not um, always trying to stay Okay. Oh, I helped you. No, Hard to get back in bed. Yeah.